The streets will never make you grow. It's not a seed, it's a gutter. There's no happy endings in this life. So this is my message to you. The streets will never love you back. Pow! Bang! Anyway, hi guys. Well, today I got another story for you. Now, before I get into that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start creating a new channel for a clothing channel. Now, all these old clothes that I have, I wear a lot of name brand clothes, whether they're sneakers, whether they're shirts, pants, stuff like that. And I have so much of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain on a new YouTube channel. This stuff is going to be up for sale. So instead of throwing them out or giving them away, I'm going to resell them for a good price. And uh, they're all name brand clothes. So in the future, look forward to that. So I'm going to be creating a new YouTube channel just for clothing of my old clothes, the old name brand. And believe me, you're going to like it. To be good for a, a good price and it's something some of you might be interested in you know but uh what i have to talk about today is i'm going to be talking about sally fusco what happened was i ran into sally fusco on 18th avenue and 65th street in brooklyn maybe uh about a year ago I went there to eat pizza with my kids and Sally Fusco's there. Now, I know Sally Fusco from back in the day. I did some time with him in 1993. He was also in Lewisburg Penitentiary. Sally Fusco is probably one of the good guys in the Colombo crime family. He's very low key. He has a powerful position. He's a captain in the Colombo crime family. And uh, he's a guy you really don't hear about. His uncle was Richard Fusco. He was uh, a big shot in the Colombo crew. But these guys are very low key. And this guy is actually a worker. He works very hard in a, a cake business. And he distributes through all the restaurants in Brooklyn, Staten Island, Jersey. But he's a hard worker. He's like an old school uh, Italian kid who grew up with the values and smarts of working and staying low key. But he has a good story behind him. The story behind him was he was actually a part of the bypass gang. They used to rob banks. Him, Mikey Bloom, Gas Pipe, uh, Sessa, Carmine Sessa, and they had their own little crew that would rob banks. They would break into them like on a Saturday night and stay in there for the whole weekend and clean the whole place out. And they did this for a little while. And there was one bank that they robbed that was located on 15th Avenue and 86th Street. I think it was a Chase Bank. And they robbed all the safe deposit boxes and after they robbed them, there was a lot of wise guys that had some safe deposit boxes located in this bank. And the wise guys knew who did it. And eventually, they got all their belongings back. So that was pretty cool. You know, if you were a wise guy and you had a safe deposit box in that bank, uh, you had some old jewelry, whatever it was, you tell gas pipe what it was, or you knew somebody, Carmine Sessa, they would return it to you. So uh, they were very into, very deep into the mob, these guys, and they were all serious characters. Now, how I met Sally Fusco, he's from Brooklyn, but I did some time with him in MCC in Manhattan. And when I first met him, he asked me where he's from. I told him Bath Avenue, and he was in touch with a few guys from the street, Georgie Conti, and Georgie Conti 
eventually told him, yeah, Jimmy's from Bath Avenue. He's a good kid. So I used to work out with him. I did some time with him in Oldersville. And when I did time with him, what happened was he was in Lewisburg Penitentiary with the kid Mikey Bloom. Mikey Bloom was an Irish kid in Staten Island. He's originally from Brooklyn. And they got accused for two murders that Carmine Sessa committed. And Carmine Sessa eventually comes forward later on and he admits to these two murders. And these guys are doing time for these two murders. They went to trial and they blew trial and Carmine Sessa ends up cooperating and he tells the judge about these two murders. And it ends up that these two guys go home because they were never involved in these two murders. And when I was doing time with them, they were actually making fun of what Mikey Bloom was going to tell the judge when he went in front of the judge. And he had his big list that what he was going to say. And Sally Fusco used to tell him, you know what, Mikey, forget about the list. You know what, just don't say anything. Let him just bring us and let us just go home. But these guys were two serious guys. They were funny guys. And I did time with them. And when I did time with them, I told them about the Staten Island Mall Bank, that I did it. Now, no one knew that I was involved in the Staten Island Mall Bank because we kept it a secret. But when I was doing time with them, as I got to know them, I ended up telling them, you know what, I ended up doing the Staten Island Mall Bank. And they said, wow, you did that? I said, yeah, I'm the one who did that. And they said, Jimmy, that you know what, that was a mystery. We were wondering who did that. I said, yeah. I said, me and a couple of my friends did that. So since then, they took a liking into me. And the last time I saw Stalley Fusco was before I seen him in the pizza on 18th Avenue with my kids. I was in 101 in Bay Ridge, and I was sitting down with my girl eating dinner, and he comes in, and he's delivering cakes. He's got this cake business. But this guy is a wise guy working legitimately and being a delivery guy, just like the old-time wise guys used to do. So I gave him a lot of props for that because any other wise guy, they're just sitting on a corner, flinging their keys around, you know, trying to make a dollar on the street. And this guy is a legitimate guy making money, working, breaking his ass, building a business. So I got to give him respect. But Sally Fusco is a low key guy, uh, one of the better guys in the Colombo crew, captain. You really don't hear about him. But I seen him in Da Vinci Pizzeria. I was with my kids and he's looking at me. I'm looking at him and he's trying to figure out who I am. Now, I know who he is. It's been a while since 1993. It was 2001. I saw him last year and he's looking at me trying to figure out who I am. He knows that I'm, he knows who I am, that he knew me once before. We both grew old. You know, this is about 20 years ago. We've seen each other. And all of a sudden, the guy behind the counter says, you know, what's your name? And I go, Jimmy. So then Sally looks at me. He's with two older gentlemen. They're probably wise guys, too. And he sits down in the back. And I grab my tray of pizza. And I sit down with my kids. And then all of a sudden, he figures it out. And I see and I hear him telling the other two guys, wow, you know what? I know this guy. This is Jimmy Calandra. He cooperated with the government. And then uh, they just grab their pizza and they walk out. They look at me and I go like this to them. Bye, guys. And they just look at me and they just kept on going. But, uh, yeah, Sally Fusco, I did some time with him. He's one of the better guys. So I wanted to share that story with you. So if you're in a pizza in Brooklyn, Always look around because you might run into me. I hope you enjoyed this story. It's just a short one. Like I said, look out for my future YouTube channel. I'm going to be getting rid of my old clothes and talking about fashion and, you know, the material it is. And you might be interested. You might want to buy a piece. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be creating another video right after this. I love you guys. Thanks for the support, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye, guys. 
The streets will never make you grow. It's not a seed, it's a gutter. There's no happy endings in this life. So this is my message to you. The streets will never love you back.